Kung Fu and karate are both renowned martial arts styles with deep roots in Chinese and Japanese cultures, respectively. While there are similarities between the two, they also have distinctive characteristics that set them apart. Let's delve into the differences and similarities between Kung Fu and karate, as well as their respective cultural backgrounds. Origins and Cultural Background Kung Fu, also known as Wushu, originated in China and has a history spanning thousands of years. It encompasses a vast array of Chinese martial arts styles, each with its own unique techniques and philosophies. Kung Fu is deeply ingrained in Chinese culture and has been influenced by various factors such as philosophy, spirituality, and traditional Chinese medicine. Karate, on the other hand, originated in the Ryukyu Kingdom, which is now Okinawa, Japan. It was influenced by Chinese martial arts, particularly Kung Fu, as well as the indigenous fighting styles of Okinawa. Over time, karate developed its own unique characteristics and became an integral part of Japanese martial arts culture. Techniques and Focus Kung Fu is known for its diverse range of techniques, including strikes, kicks, throws, joint locks, and grappling. It emphasizes fluid and circular movements, utilizing both long-range and close-range combat techniques. Kung Fu also places importance on developing internal energy, known as qi or qi, and focuses on concepts such as balance, agility, and coordination. Karate, on the other hand, emphasizes powerful and direct strikes using punches, kicks, knee strikes, and elbow strikes. It emphasizes strong stances, linear movements, and effective blocking techniques. Karate practitioners also focus on developing physical strength, speed, and precision in their techniques. Training Methods Kung Fu training often includes forms or patterns, known as kata, which are prearranged sequences of movements that simulate combat scenarios. These forms help practitioners develop muscle memory, coordination, and technique. Kung Fu training may also include various conditioning exercises, such as stance training, flexibility exercises, and strength training. Karate training also incorporates forms, known as kata, which are practiced to develop technique, balance, and focus. In addition to kata, karate training usually involves partner drills, sparring, and board breaking. Karataka, karate practitioners, also emphasize physical conditioning through exercises like push-ups, sit-ups, and cardiovascular training. Philosophical and Spiritual Aspects Both Kung Fu and Karate have philosophical and spiritual aspects associated with their practice. Kung Fu is often influenced by Chinese philosophies such as Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. It places emphasis on concepts like harmony, balance, and the cultivation of inner strength and self-discipline. In karate, the philosophical aspects are deeply rooted in Japanese culture, including concepts like discipline, respect, and self-improvement. Traditional Japanese values such as Bushido, the way of the warrior, and Zen Buddhism often influence the mindset of karate practitioners. It's important to note that Kung Fu and Karate are vast and diverse systems, and there are numerous styles and variations within each. The characteristics mentioned above are generalizations, and individual styles may have their own unique approaches and practices. In conclusion, while Kung Fu and Karate have different origins and cultural backgrounds, both martial arts have their own merits and unique characteristics. Whether you choose to practice Kung Fu or Karate, both offer a rich tradition of self-defense, physical fitness, mental discipline, and personal development.